Hello, everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. We're live on Twitch. We're here in Hogwarts Legacy. And we have babies. <clears throat> Let's go and check them out. I still have a little bit of a cold, so just, you know, huffing and puffing it. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is not the threshold, so I forgot. But look how small and cute that thing is. Oh, my goodness. I know, I know. Look at you. So the two black ones don't make a black one, apparently. Which is good to know. If you want different colors, you just have to roll the dice. Alright, let's go to the other one. And this is where the thrusters are. Alright, where's the baby thruster? Those two are in there. Oh, where's the baby? Did it not make it? Can I not see it? Does the baby need to see life? For people that see death? Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. Look how cute. Alright, it says groom and feed a thrustful offspring. So. Now it's time to feed it. I should let Deke know about like... the newborn Thestral. Not sure. <laughs> I guess. Look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go tell Deke, but right after we check out the other one, too. Right down here. We're those one of the big big eye ones. There it is. Oh my goodness, look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. It's so small, it's so cute. Oh. I guess I can steal his fur already. Which is great, by the way. So it's like a uh, yellowish. It's like the is that the mom that's yellow? Yeah. That's so cool. I guess we should groom and feed the other one as well. So before we go talk to Deke, hi Deke, bye Deke. Go up here and <clears throat> groom and feed the other one. There it is. Hippogriff offspring. Yes, I know, buddy. I wanna, like, I, what I'm thinking of, I wonder how much I can sell this for it, for a, a young, youngling, for an offspring. I know I shouldn't be thinking that, but. Here, thank you. Let's go and do that too. We need to get another unicorn. Oh, yeah, which one? We need a female unicorn. So, we're going to be on a lookout for that for today as well. Alright, Deke. We got a uh, happy surprise. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. 
As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. All right, I'm going to say that because he did. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Leviosa. Oops, I wanted to do that instead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, are these good to go yet? Not yet. Still haven't been. Alright, so I got something to show you. Uh, downstairs. You can't see it. I reorganized yet again. What a bang, what a boom. Alright, over here. We have the big ones. Because I need big ones for these, uh, type of stuff and be this one is gonna be uh, the chomping fruit one whatever it's called <clears throat> because we got a mandrake here I don't use them that often so I just need one and same with this I'm guessing no not this one uh, over here <clears throat> I only need one of these because I don't use these at all so I could only be I could say like only need one of them and place it over there and then have these uh, kind of two open Later on, once when I figure out what I need. And over here, we got the the tea things. All getting all these potions. I'm full on on these potions, so don't need it. As you can see, I'm still missing one. I didn't have enough. But it is what it is. So we have all that going for us. All the potions, stuff growing. All right. Uh, let's go and talk to Sebastian. Cause I have. Out of all the potions you brewed. Yes, I am actually Deke. Thank you so much. Let's collect these actually. And then since those are done, these should be done. Oh, not yet. Pretty close though. <laughs> so we're gonna look out for a, a unicorn. And we're gonna go be talking to uh. Where is... Oh, I can learn Defendo. Return to Professor Sharp. Which actually I'm going to do. Because just in case I need to learn, need to know Defendo. So let's go to Sharp. Professor Sharp. He will, learn, he will teach us Defendo. Since this is my day back. A new day for me at least. Let's wander the castle. See what we can see and find. I'm guessing Peeves will be here. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Is that student again? Oops, my mic. What are you doing? Like, why are you always here? Oh, we shouldn't do this. Okay, um... 3, 0... That means I mean, that one needs to be a 2. So, 0, 1, a 2. So, there needs to be that strange-looking thing. Like that. Uh, unicorn is 1. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 7. 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Whatever that is. The looks like a wig. Excuse you. There it is. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That's something. Need to get a haircut still. Uh, 
unidentified neck item. Well, nice. A medium table. Sweet. Can we close this? Uh, nope. Oops, sorry. Oh, there's a cat. What are they talking about over there? I've been sending out my mother, pleading with her to send my favorite nightshirt. I suppose one can <laughs> smuggle a pet into the dormitory. One was willing to use a disillusionment charm. But is it worth it for a common cat? <laughs> it is worth it. Oh, he's shooting out fire. Oh, he's burning himself now. Where'd he go? how my gameplay goes I stop and watch what's going on in in Hogwarts and if there's a cat nearby I'll pet it ah uh, yes there's a cat <laughs> I should really go back and just count how many times I pet cats because there's tons and tons of times I'm hoping someone will all right let's go this way Hello, sorry, I don't know if I was in any way in it. <sighs> Those two always fight, they need constantly. Just saying. Oops, <laughs> oh, this way. <clears throat> Hello outside. I'd better keep an it's eye cold. on high places around the school for Zenobia's really? gobstones. Like how many times I, I gotta grab the same one? It's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Oh, this way. If it's the sharpest down here. Yeah, that's potions, isn't it? <clears throat> that's the last time I have a potion idea that I don't write down. I apologize that you don't remember. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say, like, what the heck was that? All right, Sharp. Have you finished your assignments? Yes. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. What'd you say? <laughs> hmm. But I do Very not good. remember how that goes. Do you have but... a grasp on uh huh? Indeed. Alright, so let's put that here instead. Right next to Crucio. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the Defender. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually Ooh, nice. instruction. Let me answer. Defender. As I mentioned earlier, Defendo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. Is that Dr. again? Professor, <clears throat> do you have a moment to speak again? You do realize I have classes to teach. Very well. How may I assist you? Why did you leave your position as an aura to come to Hogwarts? That's a good question. Perhaps you haven't heard the myriad rumors they think I don't hear.
Was it due to a particular interest in potions? I am, in fact, an expert in potions. However, my interest was not the reason I came to Hogwarts. I would still be in aura today if my injury hadn't precluded it. The Ministry was all too ready to keep me on. Buried under parchment, of course, helping run the aura recruitment program. But if I'm meant for a life confined to a desk, well, I might as well share my expertise while searching for a way to heal my blasted leg. And the Hogwarts Library is not to be underestimated. You're seeking to heal the damage done to your leg? As I said, lest you think for a moment that fear played any role in my departure, allow me to enlighten you. It was not fear, but fate that steered my hand. I'll not let fear dictate my future either. Well said. However, it's worth noting that fear can be a great motivator and that one must conquer it. Indeed, sir. Thank you for your time. And I do hope you find a cure for your injury. Yes. Well, I'm certain you have an empty cauldron waiting for you somewhere. Yes, Professor. Of course. Actually, yeah, just one. <laughs> that thing smoked too. <clears throat> What's wrong with you? All right, nice now let's. You, my young friend. Yep, nice to see you too. Plaque on the wall. Um. <clears throat> All right, so we don't have that just yet. Return to Professor Garlic to learn fil filpendo. Fil filpendo. Filpendo. I guess I'll find out what it is soon enough. How to pronounce it? So let's go over there so that we can get that spell. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, we can go down this way. Sweet. Hello, world. Oh, this person wants to talk to me. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Can you keep your voice down? You're echoing all over the place. No oh, thank you. <laughs> Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's I don't remember. He's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. Yeah, see, he kind of does deserve How it, but awful. let's do that. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no cape one flapper. deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? I can take the crest to Marmaduke's yes. sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. 
You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is oh, yeah. indebted to you. Oh, already? Wow. Perhaps I need to Hello. find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. I say that right in front of her face. She just stares at me like, what in the heck are you talking about? I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, Jeez. I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. You should now, be outside that ready often. Ready to learn flippendo? You Cheer have up, red hair. Keep a you light burn grip, easily. And it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing is mortifying yeah, as I can see back that. a colleague. Yeah, starting off with an X. Sheesh. And then a B and an A, another A. Jesus. Sweet. Wonderfully done. Learning. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants. I'm guessing you're gonna say. Plants, please. Where'd it go? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, hi. Should I like scare the crap out of her? Watch this. I'm gonna scare her. She's gonna be like, oh my god, he's a dark wizard. Oh, <laughs> You're the only student. You're the only teacher that knows. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. <laughs> I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. But terrifying i'd imagine uh, likely for the professor too and that's when you took over as the herbology professor well not quite after three weeks at st mungo's my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight he insisted on returning to the greenhouse within a week he had he claims by accident kicked a chinese chomping cabbage so it was back to st mungo's for him What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular, and, <laughs> well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. <laughs> Goodbye. I kind of want to see it. Just <laughs> flopping the wall around. Alright. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. We're going to go see... Uh,
what's his name? Sebastian. Next episode. Be good to yourself and others. Had the day you deserve, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace. Yeah, the walk right there. And you too.